Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. There's a very short video for you just to demonstrate how to collect emails on your Wix website. So how to gather your viewers' emails and give them an option to submit them to you. So to do this, uh, you'll need to first pick the page where you want this little section to appear. And what we'll do is we'll add this as a section. Okay, so underneath the plus symbol on the top left hand corner, hit add section. And luckily for us, there's a bunch of presets in here which we can use to do this. So basically, we're going to use a form to do this, to capture someone's email. You give them the ability to type that email in somewhere and then submit that to you. So if you hit the little subscribe category, we've got a couple of different iterations of what that could look like. Um, so, for example, this join the club here, stay in the know, they are all different versions of how people can subscribe to your website via their email. So this join the club kind of suits the look of this page for me. I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag that just below there. So now you can see that it's added this little form and it will allow our users to enter their email here and hit the sign up button. Now, obviously you can format this to look like anything you would normally in Wix. The things that you may find interesting about this, obviously it's a form. So your form settings primarily under here, you can manage your subscribers, you can create a submissions table based on them, and that submissions table will appear in your um, dashboard area here then, okay? So um, some of the settings, you know, you can choose to be emailed when someone submits a form on your website. You can obviously name the form here for your reference. Um, you know, you can limit the amount of people who can fill it. You can autofill some information if you need to. Under this little submit message uh, se section, you can actually decide what happens when the user adds their email and then presses the sign up button. You know, this is just default to just show that it's been successful and you can type what that message is there. You can even decide how long that stays on screen for. And there's a bunch of other sections under here. You can, you know, accept payments on it. You can add rules to your form. Um, this is useful, you know, if you need it to be more than just an email, you can stipulate, you know, a, a telephone number needs to be a certain number of digits and etc. All of those are done with if statements. Um, so, you know, if you add your email in there, you can ensure that for a start that no one can press sign up without it being actually filled. So no one can kind of spam your submissions table with that. Um, etc. So if you need the use of an if statement, it's under the condition section. Um, that'll probably cover that as well. I mean, from here as well, you can generate an email campaign um, based on some of their templates that they've got built into it. And then obviously, if you want something more than just the email, you know, perhaps you'd like their name or location or whatever other information you may need from this form, you'd find that under add new field. So if we select that, you can see that it's got a bunch of presets, you know, built into it already. Telephone number, first name, last name, you know, you could even add a capacha, uh, so to ensure that it's an actual real user that's adding, hitting submit on your form. Um, from there as well, underneath the presets, you've got these basic fields which are kind of, you know, whatever else you need. Maybe you're asking a question and you need an answer for it or you're setting an equation and you need an answer for that. So, you know, whatever your needs are, you can add a, a basic field there. And obviously you've got uh, an advanced field option there should you need it as well. Uh, with the anti-spam section, obviously I just mentioned that's the capacity as well. So that's it. We'll preview it just to have a look at it what it looks like for the end user. And then you can see quite a clean and simple sign up form to capture your user's email. And that concludes the video tutorial. If you'd like one on one help from a team of experts on Wix, the link to do that is in the description for this video. Um, that is suitable for beginners who are looking to build a website from scratch in Wix and also for experienced users who have got specific problems who want to modify the look or rebrand their site is suitable for everyone so you can get in touch with us again with the link in the description if you like more content like this give us a like and subscribe to the channel 
And if you want to know anything specific, if you've got any questions or you want to see any videos in particular, leave a little comment in the comments down below. Thank you very much.